Well, I want to. I want to hear about RC, man. Your background and all that, you know. And Me too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I uh, spent uh, 17 years Marine Corps. I uh, was a MP. Uh, 10 years as a constable in Arkansas. Uh, the reason I ended up giving both of those up is exactly what we're doing exactly what we're filming out here. I got tired of seeing that from other officers, other constables, other deputies. And then while I was in the Corps, uh, you have the other military police officers that were doing exactly what we're trying to expose. And I always had a problem with it because I'm reading our policies here. You know, I'm reading uh, certain state laws or city ordinances that, in my opinion, were completely going against the Constitution here. And I couldn't justify still putting that uniform on anymore. Uh, going to work every day, wearing that uniform, supposedly upholding the oath that I took to this, and trying to enforce those other policies and laws. And I just couldn't do it anymore. So I got out of that and I've been filming for a while, but I never published any of them until now. So just starting to go ahead and put them online. It's been probably about a month or so. Been While I was in the core, that them. was the, the main tool that was shoved down our throats. That was our main tool to try to prevent anyone from filming base. Title, well, 18. title 18. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, see, and that, isn't that a bit sad? You know, shouldn't he have followed his policies and procedures quite a bit better? Because th there are damn near a hundred other videos out there of people filming uh, Air Force entries, and there are actually quite a few videos of people rolling right up to the gate with dash cams who have authorization to be on base. Okay, so in any one of these videos that you see, especially the auditors, the First Amendment auditors, they're out there, and what do the airmen do? They call the local PD, and they let the local PD handle it. Not once have you ever seen, or have I ever found, that the airmen will put them in handcuffs for Title 18, not knowing that they're going to give jurisdiction over to Glendale PD. You know, so it was a whole jurisdictional issue over there. Well, I got a question for RC. When you were an MP and the Title 18 stuff came up, did you know that it did not, that it was BS to use it that way? Or did they try to tell you, or did y'all understand? I mean, did y'all understand that it wasn't applicable or did y'all believe that it was true? Uh, at the time, no, I did not, uh, did not realize that it didn't apply. You know, we were taught that that's what the law is. We were trained that, you know, you read this title, you don't read the little, the sub notes down here at the bottom. You read this title. This says you may not. <laughs> don't read so the, real, the, the that, important part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that, that's the way we were trained. You know, if they take a picture, somebody's going to bomb our base is the way the mentality that we were trained with. Yeah. So, you know, that's towards the, the end of my career is when I started checking into more of that. And I ended up getting in trouble all the time over that. I was questioning too many things. Yeah. So I was constantly getting myself in trouble <laughs> where I would be told one thing and say, wait a minute, that doesn't, jive with what I read over here. <laughs> so that's one of the things that I know is a little different. Uh, it's starting to become the same with the other branches, but with the Marine Corps, uh, the Marine Corps has always been different than the other branches, the Navy, the Army, and the Air Force, in that the other branches are always taught follow orders, follow orders of your superiors. The Marine Corps, you're taught follow legal orders of your superiors, and you're to question every single order. 
if you feel that an order is not legal, you not only have the right not to follow it, you have the legal obligation not to follow it as a Marine. So the Marine Corps have always been that way, except when it comes to this type of situation. With this type of situation, they tried to brainwash you into thinking this is a legal order. It's Title 18. It's right there in black and white. There's no questioning it. So well, that who, that who, always came up as an issue. Who should be to blame, though? Uh, Ledford for his lack of knowledge or the people who trained him? The people that trained him. Yeah. Well, and him. Technically both. Yeah. yeah. The people that trained him, but he has an obligation to know the law as well. If he's going to be enforcing laws, he has to know those laws. So that should be on both. It's like, oh, 